Good morning. It's Wellness Wednesday. I have a special guest with me today, my husband, Tony, and it's a super special day for us today as uh, our twins turned 18. And I think it's important for us to just talk as parents on how to lead our families, um, whether or not you're a single parent home, a double parent home, two, you know, divorced and have two separate homes. I think our children really need our attention right now. Um, and a lot of us are still working from home. And what does that look like? So I thought it might be neat for us to just kind of have a quick conversation uh, with uh, Tony and I, and I just to encourage uh, those of you out here who are, are parenting through this COVID um, pandemic too. So yeah, and kind of bringing our home to you um, through this recording. So it's kind of a unique opportunity. And like the good doctor said, um, we officially have adult children as a 252 and 253 this morning. So um, we're kind of in a weird place, a different place, place we've never been uh, with adult children, but uh, it's been a fun experience. And I'm just excited to get to be a part of a Wellness Wednesday. She does them all the time and it's fun to be here and talk a little bit um, about us and about kind of parenting through COVID and what that looks like. Um, so do you wanna share? Do you want me to share? I'll let you start. All right, so parenting through COVID, wow. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of in a unique place. Um, and we have uh, a, a son and a daughter who obviously now are 18. Um, and it's been unique parenting through COVID. Um, we really walk that fine line between letting our kids be kids and still being safe and cautious. Um, I feel like, um, I mean, I almost feel like our kids are kind of invincible at times. And we got to be careful about that too and be smart about that. But I want our kids to have the opportunity to be kids. Um, so I will tell you this, our kids do a little bit more than we do. Uh, they're a little more social than we are right now with everything going on. Um, still smart, they're still cautious about where they're going, who they're hanging out with, uh, what those groups look like, um, but we're not keeping them home, hold up inside. Um, we're still giving them the opportunity to uh, be with some friends and kind of go through this process too because they handle it differently they think about it differently they rationalize about it differently um, and so we want to just be really uh, encouraging to them and and not smother them but not be paranoid either we're trying to walk that fine line between being responsible um, and just making sure that we're doing the right thing for ourselves and for our family so it's been really kind of unique um, and and really just giving them the opportunity to be kids that's really important that's what we've tried to do from start to finish and it gets hard, it gets really hard as our numbers ramp up and we're not really quite sure what, you know, the weeks and months are gonna look like, but um, I think we've done okay for the most part. And it's not always fun when you have a doctor as a mom. <laughs> and so we've talked through that too, <laughs> where, uh, you know, we've talked about- Point of clarification or a husband, carry on. <laughs> So, you know, um, washing hands, we've talked about um, changing clothes when you get home, taking a shower, um, you know, the, and I think some of their friends also know some of the rules that happen um, through our household too. Um, but it's all about, uh, you know, one, not having fear, two, being educated, um, and three, they definitely having me as a mom or a a wife um, know about nutrition and things to, that um, help boost their immune system and protect their immune system. And so we've continued to do that. I think it's really important that as they've grown up, we've continued to educate them. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do with your kids, no matter how small or how adult they are, is um, have a conversation because when they feel educated, um, they feel like they're part of that conversation instead of just being parented to. Um, I take that same uh, you know role with my patients too. My goal is to educate and to give the tools necessary to make the decisions that feel right for you. So we've done that as parents. We've, I'm doing it with my patients. So that might be something to do with your kids too, is make sure you're having those open conversations and you're educating them um, so that they feel like they're making educated decisions on what they want to do and their belief system and their value system. Because we're dealing a lot with what a word that we talked about earlier is COVID fatigue. And we can't have that right now because 
the numbers are going up, we're going into winter. Um, so we need to make sure that it's still at the forefront that we're, we're thinking about it, but it doesn't need to overtake us or cause any fear. We just need to be educated on what we can do to protect ourselves. And you've heard me say this before, you wanna be a host a virus doesn't want, whether it's the flu or the COVID or strep or staph, any of those things. You wanna make sure that you are keeping your body healthy so that a virus or a bacteria doesn't want to try and invade it because it's too hard to invade it. Yeah, and that was evidenced by me in full disclosure. Uh, I created a body that a virus wanted and strived in when I got struck with COVID and it took me a while to get over it. Um, and thankfully it never got Melody, uh, but it did get me. Um, and I love what you're saying about education and just these conversations with the kids. And, you know, our kids are older now, so the conversations look a little different, but really trying to get them to not necessarily buy in, but have a voice in the conversation about what's going on. I, I think that's important. I think it's important what you said too. Um, it's, sometimes it's just different having a doctor for a mom. Um, sometimes it's different, like I said earlier, having a doctor for a wife. It's just um, the struggle is real as a guy being married to a weight loss doctor. Um, but that's for another conversation. But I guarantee our pantry looks different than your pantry. And sometimes I want your pantry. Um, but just having the kids be a part of the conversation and uh, they don't necessarily agree with everything that we encourage or say, but I will tell you this too, on the parenting aspect, make sure that your spouse and you are on the same page on everything. It's incredibly important. So there's going to be topics and conversations that you guys need to have a pre-conversation on um, before you go to the kids with that. And I will tell you this too, in full disclosure, that Melody has often been the voice of reason in our conversations. And there's been topics and there's been things where I'm a little too black and white. Um, and I'm thankful that I have her to offset that uh, because if I just go into this conversation completely black and white, I've lost my audience. Um, and my audience are my children and they mean the world to me. So it's counterproductive. So make sure not only you talk in advance with your spouse about the conversations, if they're hot topics, but have a game plan. What is it gonna look like? And what are we trying to accomplish out of this conversation? know that going into it so that you have a framework in place to be successful. And again, the premise for us is not living in fear, just being cautious about COVID. Um, I heard somebody talking about COVID the other day about, there. you know, how do you know what to believe? Um, these numbers are all over the place. You hear different statistics. And I heard somebody mentioning, you know, comparing the flu to COVID and, and it was really poignant. And, and, and basically what they said was, when was the last time the flu overtook the medical system? I can't think of when that happened, but I can with COVID. So it's just, we're just in a unique time. So anyway, I'm super excited to have the opportunity to spend some time with you guys and spend some time with the good doctor on Wellness Wednesday. And hopefully we can do some more of these. Do it all with love. Enjoy your Wednesday um, and we'll catch up next week when we talk about how to tackle Thanksgiving. Okay, have a beautiful day. Do it all with love. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye.